Welcome back, everybody, to another ep another uh, another episode of Alpha Polaris with me, Adamu. <laughs> um, so here we are. We're in the Arctic. We're at the uh, uh, petroleum mining, drilling, exploration outpost, and we are playing uh, uh, Rune, a Norwegian biologist, and we're about to tranquilize this this female. Uh, polar bear. And so, I guess I just take my gun and shoot it? The chamber is empty. Oh, okay. Um, so, we take... Th no, that's the reversal agent. So, we take the darts, and we click on the gun. Oh, cool! So, okay. And then we... Ooh, look at that little reticle. What have we shot? Oh, we can do that. Um, probably shouldn't though. Let's just shoot the bear. As fun as that would be. Take aim. Fire! Did we get it? Oh, and she's down. Good kill. It hit her right where it was supposed to, just above the shoulder. Oh man, blade. nice shot. Let's give the sedative some time to kick in and then have a closer look. All right. Cool. Yep. It's a big polar bear. Oh man. Oh man, it's big. Look at that maw. It can easily crush a seal's skull or drag a small beluga whale out of the sea. Mm. Mighty nasty smell. It shouldn't be that bad. Is it sick? It's got blood coming out of its mouth. There's the reason for the smell. The right quadrant mandibular canine is chipped. The what? Tooth. A fang. The tooth is infected and the infection is spread. Oh, poor guy. Look at or the dark girl? spots on the gums. Hmm. Should help it, right? Not much fat underneath the fur. She's malnourished. Probably because she hasn't been eaten because of the toothache. Okay, so let's, um... Let's take the dart out. Wow! Careful! Don't reach! Relax. I know what I'm doing. Well, I hope so, because I don't. Let's see, so... Check the sedation checklist in my notebook, okay. He clearly is nervous about this. Yeah, no crap. Um, bear thesis. So... Pulse. It's falling administration. I'm not sure. There we go. Tooth infected. Okay. Oh, so we okay. So we did add one. Following time, following administration. Oh, so this is minutes. Pulse. Okay. Versal. Okay. Secure breathing. Oh wait, 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 wait. What was that? Secure breathing. Check heart rate. Remove dart. Clear off after. Oh, okay, we messed up. We should have secured the breathing and checked the heart rate first, right? So, I guess we use this. Right? Cool, science! So, according to this, so the sedation's good, right? We're good on sedation, right? Because that's 41 and we want to be around 40 or so, right? Pulse is a little over 40. That's normal for a sleeping animal. Yep. See, I know what I'm doing. Um, then we take the collar. Nice. That's a satellite tracker? It's pretty big. Yes, but it transmits only triangulation data. The collar will come off after a few weeks. After that, I'll retrieve it. We're done here. She can't eat with that tooth. That's why she's so badly malnourished. We need to contact the veterinary service tomorrow. Are you gonna keep her on a leash until then? You got Let's haul her to that old sled dog cage to wait for them. You stay here and guard her. I'll figure out a way to do it. Oh no. What if she starts moving before that? Nah. Yeah. I'd keep my distance. She'll be rather pissed off when she wakes up. So you want me to drag this polar bear to that cage? 
right. Uh, okay. Let's go check it out. Yep, it's open. Now what? Sturdy looking roof support pillar. What? Oh, okay. Um, what points? So we have West Station, Polar Bear, must be, okay, seen that. Gasoline tank, fuel for generating electricity and for vehicles. Calm tower, satellite link, the only way to contact the outside world. Personally, I like the isolation here. Just like in service stations. Solar panels, they are, a, they are largely decorative despite the size. It's disappointing. These, those are none attacks. Rugged peaks pushing through glacial ice. Cool. I didn't know there was a name for that. So do we go to generator or station west? Have you figured out how to move her? That thing will get up any minute. Suggest? No. Ain't gonna work. Other ideas? Just a moment. I'll get back to you. Interesting. So you can type in stuff to them. Just slowly walk over there. There's a sled. An age-old army surplus snowmobile. Tully has the keys. Snowmobile. Is there anything else around here? Ratchet strap can be used to tie down heavy hardware. Um, station front. So no, I don't have the keys. Oh, okay. So we go back. This is fun. go back to the cage. Talk to Tully. Have you figured out how to move her? Yeah, that thing will get up any minute. Snow. No bile. Let's take the snowmobile. Yeah. Tour. That might work. Ah. There we go. Oh dang! Look at that animation. It's a top-notch computer graphics. All right, now what? Hey, you need to bring her. Bring bring that over here. Um. We just drag her in with the. Just drag her like that. For cargo hauling. Oh yeah, sure, I guess. Oh, okay. Just just drag her around like that then, huh? I like the clouds. I like the clouds moving in the background. It's nice. Oh, just okay. Now what? She's starting to wake up. Oh no! Um, uh, she might die. Uh, okay, right, right, right. Tie a rope to strand a polar bear. Tie a rope to strand a polar bear snowmobile. Yeah! That's not going to work. The mobile can't turn inside the cage. Um, um, hmm, how about, we do rope, cage, snowmobile? Yeah! Got it. Oh, look at that. It's kind of janky, but it works. Eula Petroleum is gonna love her. Oh yeah. We are not telling them. What? We need to do what we can to help her. I'm gonna go take a leak. She's not gonna tell them. That seems like a bad idea. They're just gonna walk around, there's like a polar bear in a cage, and they're gonna be like, what the heck, guys? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we check on the polar bear. We'll see how she copes in that cage. So let's, um... 
wake her up, I guess? Oh, let's do it. She could she she should come around soon. Sweet. Alright. So to the generator then I guess. Job well done! We saved the polar bear. Kind of, not really. Quite yet. Let's see. Generator cabinet. I don't think I need to touch that. Okay. It's running. Very good. What's this? Flow control. To front. Could you walk a little faster, please? Um, it's a different shot at the front. Station's door, garage door, snowplow, kitchen side. One of Tolly's bigger toys. It operates electronically. Kitchen side. Yeah, let's just walk around the compound. This place is pretty small. But, I mean, I guess there's only, like... What, like three people here so far? Four people here? Age old army surplus. Yeah, okay. We already looked at this. Walk, 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 walk. Oh, she's awake. Hey, pillar bear. Aww. Like a tooth hurt, she's stuck in a cage. Poor girl. I'd almost feel sorry for her if it wasn't for the whole, you know, ripping your face off aspect. I think polar bears are still the only animal, or one of the few animals that have no fear of humans. And not only that, will have, have will actively hunt and eat humans, like, on sight. Like, there are a lot of big predators that um, are actually more afraid of humans um, than you might anticipate. Uh, but polar bears are not one of them. So, yeah. Scary things, polar bears. Let's just go inside. It's got to be freezing out here. <laughs> it is freezing out here. It's the Arctic. Up. So we still still have all that other stuff then. Um Okay now what? Hey, let's go uh, hunt down uh Alaska girl. Here she is. Here's my girl. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're not going to talk to her. Okay. Should be antibiotics somewhere in the lab. Oh, okay. Antibiotics. Oh, okay, because she has bad tooth. Makes sense. Which means we gotta walk all the way back to the laboratory. Yay. Waka 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 Walking. Okay. Antibiotics. Medical walker. Alright. Makes sense. 
you would keep the antibiotics in the medical locker. Antibiotics! Woo! Sil and the Cillin, a brand of liquid penicillin. Sweet. Here it is. Silamicillin. 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 Antibiotics. Liquid. She weighs about 200 kilograms to 1,000 milligrams a day. Oral or intramuscular should do it. But that means I would need to keep her in a very small cage for at least 14 days. I'll contact Thule first thing in the morning. So. Make some room. Sample's coming through. Uh oh. So is this uh, Bob? Rune. Al. Oh, Al. Pretty brisk weather out there. Leave no skin exposed. Yeah, no kidding. What do you got there, Gramps? Early Christmas. Belt buckle. A few hours ago, I was roaming the glacier using the crevasse radar. No magnetometrics or anything. Suddenly, the thing starts bleeping, and I hit the brakes. Went outside and found myself on the edge of the nastiest crevasse ever. Oh, music change. Holy shit! Like bell buckle. Like that. And that's not even the hairiest part. Glanced down, and there it was. Deep in the hole, a bubbling pool of crude oil. Again, no transient electromagnetics, Telerix, or anything. Mm. Just stumbled on it. So I figured there's more to this story. Tied myself to the six-wheeler's winch and went down. You that's fucking went down the crevasse alone? Before. And with that trunk of yours? Yeah, that's not smart. Yes, Tully. I bloody went all the way. Yeah, that's probably Let's not Let's say wise. I had a hunch of an old oil wizard. Did some surface sampling, looked around, and found these. Pray tell. What? What the heck? It's a bones and skin? Oh, cool! It's a map? unsettling, isn't it? It was a sacrificial site of some kind. Uh. That thigh bone. It's human. It's like cancer. Yes, there, or there were plenty of body parts down there, but I didn't want to stick my nose any deeper than I already had. What do you think, Rune? Remark about climate change. Tell him this is not your field. Tell him it's an important find. This is a significant find. Yeah. The symbols look like some sort of elaborate writing, but it's not really my field. I have a few paleoanthropologist contacts in Bergen. We could reach them through the Thule station. Maybe, but let's not be hasty here. The find could mean big bucks for all of us, so let's not draw any unnecessary attention to it. Tell sure. Right sense. on, Gramps. Last time I checked, we were on an oil research station, not some fancy university. Come on, dude. There's always time for science. You are not going to believe this. Oh my god, that face. Euler himself is coming here. Bob? They're sending Bob? No, much worse. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be in my room. What's worse than Bob? What's worse than Bob? What the hell was that? Alistair Euler, the son of the company founder, is coming here. Okay. I've known Bob a long time, and in this case, the apple has landed far off. Uh-oh. Oh, he sure got the Ice Queen ticked off. We have some mutual history together. Uh-oh. I'm going out for a smoke. You joining, Gramps? No, thank you. I'll reward myself with a couple of sandwiches. Hmm. Viking? Bet you will. No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. And if I'm not going to be allowed to contact a real expert, I'll examine those bones myself. Knock yourself out. You do know what your oil find means for Greenland, don't you? Yes, it'll bring in money to the local people, thus giving them tools for pursuing their independence. It'll also have a severe effect on the ecology, not to mention global climate problems. What do you want me to do, Rune? I'm an old guy. For once, I found something worthwhile. Anyway, I suggest you take a look out of your window before going to sleep. There should be powerful aurora in the sky tonight. Oh, cool. I've never seen Aurora Borealis in real life. Always, always something. It's a definitely like on my bucket list. Um, hide in bones. Cool. Two markings. 
decompose surface. So let's... Oh, there's a lot of different marks. Cray. Some gear Nova used to repair the fossils. Okay. Humerus. The bones are so mineralized that it's hard to examine them properly. Oh, partially fossilized. They must be thousands of years old. Sweet. Femur. The bones are so mineralized. Okay. Thousands. Right, got. Muddled symbols. These are messy symbols on the lower part, almost like they were intended to look bad. These two markings... These two markings really stand out. The lower one looks human. Does it? Kinda does. It's like a V-shape. You can't see it right now, but I am leaning... I am leaning into the screen to get a closer look at it. Decomposed surface. There are markings below, but I can't make anything of them. Uh, what the? Car cartouche, oh, cartouche symbol 2, cartouche symbol 3, cartouche symbol 1. Let's do them in order. These are symbols. These, these three symbols are inside a cartouche, as if together they would have a special meaning. Uh, special meaning. Special meaning. So this cartouche is like the circle-y thing. Um, symbol arc. A magnificent arc of symbols in the upper part it looks almost at, like the sky is bleeding. It does look like some kind of weird, like, HP Lovecraft type stuff going on. Alright. Ah, he just picked it up. What? Why did I? Why did I do that? These are definitely human and heavily mineralized. It's not possible. Oh, okay. All right. Um. How do you two laboratory? So we do like experiment with them or something? Is that what we do? Nova's workstation. Tidy spot where Nova works. Table. Not much space here. Fume hood. Photo. Is there like a... Thing we can do? Stone putty. Still water. Aesthetic brush. Um, let's go over here. Put the bones in there. Let's put the bones in the fume hood. No, that doesn't do anything. Okay, let's put them on the table. No, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Photo? No, that doesn't... That's not what I was... A brush. That doesn't do anything. Okay. What am I supposed to do with these things? I don't think that would lead us to anything useful. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, that's... No, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think so. Let's rub with the Buddha. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Workstation. Doesn't work. What are we supposed to do with these bones? It's not possible. Okay. Great. Can we not do anything? Why did I pick these bones up? Can we put them back? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's put them on the tray. What? What the heck? All right, okay. Maybe we take them to... Hmm, interesting. Well, we're going to have to figure out what to do with these bones on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is really starting to get interesting. Um, I am Adamu, and this has been Alpha Polaris. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.